Um, where were you living during the 1960s? What were some specific changes that have occurred in today's society since that time? The economy has went down the tank. <laughs> Is there anything else? That's pretty much a, there's a, there's a whole different attitude in children nowadays compared to the 60s. Yeah. <laughs> I bet. Um... What kind of hobbies were really popular at this time? At this time? Like at the time of the 1960s. Oh, in the 60s. Well, let's see. In the 60s, we didn't have Game Boys. We didn't have telephones. We had one telephone at home, and it hung on the wall with about a six-foot cord. <laughs> didn't have remotes on your TV. You had to physically get up and change the channel. Uh... Kids spent more time outside because there really wasn't nothing to do to keep them occupied. So do you think that's better than it is today, or do you like oh, yeah. today's so you? I, that, that was a whole lot better. Okay. Um, what were your views of the Vietnam War or just war in general at this time, like when you were younger? <laughs> Let's see. Probably from what they've gained out of any of them, Vietnam, Iraq, Afghanistan, uh, I don't see where we benefited at all. Okay. I think they squandered a whole lot of money and hurt a whole lot of people. And uh, did that match the views of the people around you during this time too, or did they think differently about war? Do what now? The people around you, do they also, like, do most parts of people not like the war, or were the people around you supportive of it? Mm -hmm. uh, it was, you know, <clears throat> just one of them things. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, um. Like it is now. So <laughs> you got people that just uh, protest against it, and you got people that think it's the best thing going. Right. Many men were drafted because of the different wars um, before that time and also during it. Do you think that the government should draft people to fight, or is that wrong? No, I don't think they ought to force you to do it because anytime you force somebody to do something, you're not going to get full cooperation out of them. Okay. That's with anything in school even. You know, if you're made to play something or you're made to do something, you're not going to give it 100%. Right. Um, during the 1960s, did you ever witness racism of any kind around you? Oh, it was, it was horrible. What happened? They, they had race wars and, you know, they had uh, fights and they had curfews. You know, uh, everybody had to be off the street at dark. Yeah. It was, it was uh, whole thing. If they think it's bad now, they should have been there. <laughs> Did you ever agree with the separate but equal mindset? Eh, I guess to an extent. Yeah. You didn't think it was really bad? Eh, it, it just depends. You know, it's like uh, a two-sided coin. You know? <laughs> mm -hmm. um, did the people around you, especially the people that are older and live their whole life with racism around you, did they disagree with desegregation? No, I don't think so. I think everybody had high hopes mm -hmm. that okay. it was, you know, going to make things better. But Right. Um, Okay, so technology was just, like, it was getting big, or it was, I guess it wasn't big at this time, but it was starting up. Do you remember the first computer or phone or TV that you had? Uh, I think the first computer I had was a, I think a Commodore 64, and it was just a glorified gaming computer. <laughs> <laughs> the kids thought it was cool. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Um, did you go to the movie theaters a lot? Yeah, there was no, you, you didn't have, the choices you had back then was, you go to the movie theater, you used to, in Alton there used to be about three of them, you know, set-ins, they had drive-ins, but your choices was movie theater, roller skating, or bowling, <laughs> or, any, or any inside activities. <laughs> um... I know that you have a lot of opinion about the government. Um, did you did you and the people around you trust the government at this time or during the 1960s? 
during the 60s? Well, it's hard to say. I know, I, I think they they have been squandering so much money over so many years that everybody just kind of turns their head to it. Mm -hmm. Do you remember any specific events that happened to make people lose their trust in the government? They had a lot of it to do with the, like, the Vietnam War, mm -hmm. for one. Right. Um, oh, that was a major thing. They could see money going places that was just causing a lot of havoc. Mm -hmm. um, did you have a favorite president from that time period? No. No? Um, did you like any of them, or were they all kind of bad in your yeah. opinion? Yeah, I, I think most of them are from now, depending on who they're talking to. Mm -hmm. um, do you remember the day that JFK was assassinated? Yeah. I was in school. It was actually it was on my birthday. Oh, wow. I forgot about that. That is true. <laughs> um, did it have an effect on his on the country? Do you remember, like, what it did to, like, everyone around you? Yeah, I would say probably a, it did. Because people just couldn't believe that that happens in this now, you know, it's that, that day and age. Right. Um... And then, I know you have opinions about NASA, too. A lot of funding went into the space race at this time. Do you think it was a good idea to put so much money into going to the moon? No, I have not seen anything that has developed from the purpose of going to the moon. <laughs> they went to the moon, which I still have my doubts. <laughs> Why do you doubt it? Because just some of the pictures you look at... Uh, for something that has no gravity, when somebody jumps up in the air, they should still be floating. They should not come back down. Right, that or, makes sense. Uh, it just, I, I just, I just don't believe it. I um, can't have cell service when I cross my my sidewalk in front of my house, but I'm supposed to believe that they had the technology to land somebody on the moon and then launch them back off of it again. So, um, was getting to the moon before the USSR really that important to you? No. No. Um, uh, nope. Where should the money have gone instead then, if it not towards NASA? I think NASA ought to take all their money that they're not that they're spending on stuff because now I'm hearing that the space station that they've spent umpteen trillions of dollars on. Uh, I forget the exact year, but that's just they're gonna just sink it into the ocean when it runs out of time. It's something that's not gonna be up there forever. So, is there any specific ideas of where it should have the money should have like all that funding should have gone instead, like towards war or towards like education? Uh, okay. We don't need to spend no more money on war. I think we have to just worry about ourselves. Mm -hmm. uh, there's so much research that needs to be done on medical stuff. Right. Uh, they're already talking on the news what these kids are going to do through the summer when their only meal came from school. we got people dying all around us, starving to death, but we're worried about the moon. No, now we're worried about Mars. Come on. Uh, and then one last question. Did you witness or take part in any protests during this time, either against slavery, the war, uh, government, any of that? I wasn't a witness per se. We were in school one time and they had some big race riot, but that was just all, you know, it was, mm -hmm. it was okay. an excuse to get out of school early. <laughs> well, that's good. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you so much. Those are all my questions.